church. Something at home will change. Something at your child's school will change. Something in your health will change. The doctor will say, I thought you had it, but now I don't see it. I thought I saw it, but now I don't see it. I want you to know you got to worship him in spirit and in truth you gotta come subject to what the spirit of God is saying to this church because in this last day I believe that God is pouring out his spirit upon all flesh and I believe that God is touching the women just like he's touching the men I believe that God is calling women into ministry just like he's calling the men I believe that God is causing these women to step forward in their gifts I heard the spirit of the Lord say stir up the gift oh stir it up how do I stir it up? I get somewhere by myself in my secret closet and I begin to talk with God and I begin to call on the name of the Lord. I begin to talk eventually like the Samaritan woman. As soon as her eyes came open, she started running. As soon as her eyes came open, she went to tell every last person that was in the city and God used this particular woman to win a whole city. After after a while Jesus had a dilemma because after she left to go and tell the story everybody came back some more Samaritans came back and now you have this Jew standing in the midst of all of these Samaritans him teaching the gospel of Christ and when they got back there they said we not we don't we, we don't want to listen to your story anymore we believe you and that's enough but now I've heard the Christ for myself I've heard the Messiah for myself I heard him speak to me I got it for myself I know what he is I know who he is I know how to get it I know where to go if you only knew Jerusalem if you only knew where God is taking you to if you only knew, the Spirit of the Lord, when he gave me that, I heard the voice of the Lord clearly say, half of them don't know. Half of them don't know. Tell them if they only knew who I was, if they only knew what it is that I give them, if they only knew how to get it. Now let me help you in my closing. We have all kinds of ways of praising God. We have all kinds of methods. But I want to help you, Jerusalem, because you're on your way somewhere. You're on your way somewhere. And through the history of this church, God has been with you. But now he's getting ready to take you somewhere else a place that you know not of but that place is much likened unto the place that he told the people of Israel I'm going to send you to a large place cut up old shade up to a large place a large place is necessary for a large a large place is necessary for a large people. In that place is a place flowing. God help me. It is flowing with every need met. Every need is met. Look at your neighbor. Every need is met. It's met. It's met. It's met. It's met. All you got to do, pastor, is think it. It's think it and it'll come. Before even you mention it to the people, it's coming. It's already done. It's already done. Behold, I take you to a large place. 
a place where a large people can run in. Can you see a large people running in a large place? That's a whole bunch of place. That's a whole bunch of space. A large place. But listen, 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 listen carefully. While you were doing praise and worship, I saw in the spirit, I saw an Elijah anointing. Elisha anointing, excuse me. An Elisha anointing. It was a double portion. A double portion. Anointing. That's a double portion enabling of the power of the Holy Ghost. Which means signs and wonders shall be. Signs and wonders. When he, when he commissioned the, the, the disciples, he commissioned them, he says, I give you power over every unclean spirit. I give you power over every sickness and disease. I give you power over it all. The Bible says many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them. Every last one of them. So we are already victorious. Are you already victorious? Are you victorious? I'm victorious. I stand above racial discrimination. Oh, it doesn't matter what color skin I am. It doesn't matter that I'm a female. It doesn't matter. I tell my girls all the time, you stand bold in who you are. You be, you be proud of being an African American. You don't worry about anybody putting you down. You don't let it taint your walk. You don't let it create obstacles in your life. You don't go around with a bad attitude. But all you have to do is learn how to worship God. <laughs> ah, yeah. And I'm their example. Every time praise and worship go, my hands is up in the air. Every time the organ plays, I'm saying, God, I thank you. Every time there's opportunity for me to dance, I dance in the spirit because I have to teach my children how to worship. Every time I'm in church, I'm not sitting like I'm going to sleep, but I'm sitting there in a posture like I'm ready for God to do something for me. Oh my God, if you only knew, Jerusalem, where God is taking you, he's taking you to a large place. You got to get on board. You got to understand and allow God to open up your understanding. Allow God to take you where he wants to take you. We have a bunch of women in here that have been called out of here. Out of here to go and evangelize. We have some ministers. We have some prophets. We have teachers. We have pastors. We have apostles in here. You got to stir up the gift. The gift of God that he has laid on your life all of you not gonna be here always you're not gonna always be here you think you come up here to read the announcements one day you'll become a pastor you think brother Lamont you on the organ you gonna always be there you're not gonna always be I prophesied to you in the name of Jesus uh, that God has a higher calling for you uh, and he's calling you to a new place uh, he's calling you to a higher realm in him uh, he's calling you to a place uh, where you will stand bold uh, and declare his goodness uh, oh my God uh, hide if you want to hide uh, God knows shut up oh shit this church has been called to greatness. So, if you think that you're going to be able to hide here for the next 30 years, God's got a different story for you. Some of you got to go out. Some of you got to pastor other churches. Some of you got to lead national choirs. Some of you got to make albums. This ain't no play. We come here to worship in spirit and truth. And last, as you stand on your feet, as you worship, you find your call. You find what it is that you're supposed to be doing. If you only knew. I thank the Lord.
Lord, he allows me to see some things. And some things he don't, he said, don't say nothing. Shh, shh. Don't say nothing. They got to know for themselves. But God has called you. If you only knew Jerusalem, who, what, and how. If you only knew. 